Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, we have a friend here. Oh, yeah, you did. You can show him. It's casual. It's okay. We have a Teresia. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome to our YouTube video. Yeah. So, I'm Yuri Kabandens. This is pretty The The Banana Girl. The Banana Girl. And I'm Eva Back in Paradise. Yeah, and we're here together to talk a little bit and have a girly chat about taking your eating disorder behaviors or habits to the high carb vegan lifestyle which we don't want obviously but sometimes it just happens and yeah maybe you wonder yourself you're in that situation what to do like how to know if you're still having these behaviors and yeah yeah I definitely see that I see that a lot I see that in some YouTube channels some um, vegans who have come from like anorexia and they're still not eating enough you know, they're counting like grapes basically. They're like, oh, I can only have this many grapes. And that's definitely not what this lifestyle is all about. And, you know, you want to leave that. You want to leave that in your past. This lifestyle is about abundance. You do not have to count every single grape or restrict the amount of fruit you're having. You can eat as much as you want. So I do see that. And it, is, it is a danger. It really is a danger. So you need to get enough glucose, get enough fruit sugar to your brain so you don't want to entertain that feeling anymore so you want to look after yourself and that's that's when you truly heal so i don't know have you noticed that as well yeah from the beginning i was struggling a little bit i started like from the next day when i found the banana girl on youtube i started when when it was like one um, one year and three months ago yep. and i started like straight away with three thousand and more calories per day and i did it with all this time so now. But still in between I had this like falling back into binging because sometimes and it always happened when I didn't have enough enough food over the day. So all in all I always was at this over three thousand calories but when I didn't pack the food in then I would binge in the evening and it would feel similar to like binging when I was in, in my eating disorder. Yeah. So I can, yeah, it, I was not comfortable anymore, and that was like the switching point in my head. Now it doesn't matter anymore. It's still too much, and I would then, yeah, stop myself. Yeah, and not feel good at all, and too much. And yeah, it's it's not the same as just coming up on a rock and fall. I said it was definitely not the same, and it's still like having like eating disorder. Yeah, so, it all comes back to not having enough fruit. Yes, right. yes, yes. Like, That's what I want so to cool. say. So I found out that it's a problem because you mentioned this very often. <laughs> so like all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That helps a lot and also cutting out all the salt that would help me like to reduce the cravings to a minimum. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I found and yeah, sometimes it still happens that I just don't have enough for lunch or something, then I still yeah, I recognize that there might pop up some cravings or some thoughts. That's like by like the last month I didn't feel at all like this. It's a, it's a brain, the brain is just saying, hey, we're running low in glucose. Yes. What are you doing? Yeah. Let's smash it in so this doesn't have, happen again. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah I it's also just, found that having up is like, it sounds so stupid, but it's like the solution most of the time. It's, it is. For so many yeah. things, like depression. Yeah, exactly. Um, gosh. Not know, only emotional cravings. eating. Yes. The whole emotionally. Also when you're having a conflict or something, you, most of the times you have to step back or when you just feel emotional or something, you stress. feel so much more emotional to say, but when you have eaten like a thousand calorie half meal and then you're much more focused and... Well, the brain just functions properly. Yeah. You know, it's fuel for the brain. You can't run your car without petrol. So you can't run your brain without fuel, without that sugar. We need that in order to feel balanced. Yeah, and energetic and motivated and like, yeah, it's, it's definitely a problem and I've noticed, um, you know, when I first came to lifestyle because I was coming from anorexia and bulimia, because I would eat, you know, I'd, I'd eat as much as I wanted and I love that and that's the way to eat, but I was feeling really full in the belly and I'm like, well, this kind of makes me feel like, you know, fat. Yeah. I wasn't where I wanted to be weight-wise, so it was making me feel fat and that was actually causing me to under eat initially. So you've got to realize that it's, it's okay to have a nice full belly. It's, it's Monkey a wrong, belly. It's a wrong mental association yeah. that this is being fat. Like no. it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, yeah. you've got
gut it eats to your got a nice round full belly. That's when you know you're fully carved up, and that's what's going to give you the results in time. If you've got enough fuel coming in, you're going to have enough energy to exercise, and the whole thing is just going to work how yeah. it should. Yeah, and that's yeah for me it's different from the binging full belly is if you don't pack in the fat or something it's just a totally different feeling it is a different yeah feeling. you're relieved in the next morning it's, uh, everything is gone and yeah. nice it's all awesome. done yes <laughs> exactly every morning morning shit morning shit early morning shit yeah, yeah and actually yeah, it's celebrate the full belly after yeah. the meat and just like yeah and it feels like I can still breathe comfortably, you know, it's not the same. Yeah, it's just yeah. fruit. I mean, it's just fiber and water. Yeah. You know? Like, it's, that's what women have to realize. It's just fiber and water. It's not going to make you fat. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, it's a perfect food for you. So you're going to cover the fuck up. Yeah, so what I took into the high carb lifestyle was the, the mindset or this thinking that I have to exercise a lot in order to allow myself so many calories. So I, I thought I have to train insanely so this you know makes it justice that I can't carve up so much. But that's not the case. Like many people think that you you only lost the weight because you're training so much, but that's not the case. Um, I guarantee I'm not training a lot. Okay, most of the day I am just I'm lying around or I'm on the computer. I'm on the computer maybe 10, 12 hours a day. Yeah. So where do I have the time to do all this training? People are saying that I'm doing. You know, I might exercise in the morning because that's healthy. You know, it's healthy not to be sedentary. You know, you've got to be energetic. You've got to you know, do something with your day. Okay, but I then do rest days yeah. as well. But then people say, okay, but then you're doing time trials, so you're going so hard. Like no wonder. But that's not like the first time trial ever, really. Yeah. I mean, like I don't, I don't do them. I mean, only since I've been at the festival, I've been doing some time trials. But all the rest of the year, yeah. I've been just hunting around on my bike, not doing a lot. Yeah, so it's just time. I think a lot of a lot of girls are like, why don't I look like freely or like her leanness? Why don't I have that already? You know, they first come to the lifestyle and they might do it for six months or even a year. They're like, I'm gonna give up because I'm not getting the same results as freely. It's like, hello, it's been eight and a half years for me. <laughs> eight and a half years. You need to get that through your head. Yeah. Eight and a half years is a long time, and I'm not saying it's gonna take you that long, but you've got to be patient with your results and realize it accumulates. You know? yeah. Stay on track, carve up, so you have enough energy to move your body and then get fitter. It all works like that. And also, that's all. That's all. Yeah. 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 Appreciate yeah. focus on that. For me, it was like, yeah, I would never do something else, even if I would gain weight or anything. Yeah. It could happen, like, um, yeah, not never look like really or something. I'm comfortable with how I look, so. Amazing, guys. So yeah. somebody would say, yeah, you can say this because you look like you look, and yeah, that's fine for me. I know I'm, I'm a lucky person, but. Um, if I would gain weight, I would still do this high carb because I have so much more benefits out of it. So many results, um, yeah, that just make my life completely different to what, what it was before. It's hard to believe when you're yeah. not carved up, yeah. but you are happy. Suddenly yeah. you're happy yes. when you're eating enough carbs. Yeah. That's what really matters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you focus on getting alive getting real purpose in your life, developing your personality and stop focusing so much on aesthetics because it's just making you a superficial person and I was there myself. Okay, you're deeper than that. Go deeper. Yeah. And don't believe in all these fad diets, you know, that tell you you have to exercise like crazy and you know, all, that shit come, that, all that shit that you think now comes from these diets that are everywhere. But yeah, you have to get a new mindset.